Hello everyone, welcome in DHD11 temperature and humidity sensor interfacing with Arduino tutorial series. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to define what is DHD11 and how to interface DHD11 sensor with Arduino. Well, the DHD11 sensor is uh, uh, used for measuring the humidity and environmental temperature. It is a low cost version and it can measure the humidity via a capacitive uh, way and uh, the temperature with the internal thermo thermistor. Uh, basically this uh, sensor is one wire sensor it means it can communicate with your microcontroller with a single pin so you don't need multiple pins to uh, interact with this sensor and also if you are using 8051 or other microcontroller which do not have built-in analog uh, or uh, to digital converter I mean ADC so uh, you are in a good luck because this sensor is a digital sensor it means it do not need any analog pin all you have to do is to read a stream of pulse and convert that pulse into a digital data if you are wondering either this uh, DHT11 use uh, some kind of RS232 or other uh, similar serial protocols. Well, it use serial protocol, but it do not use RS232 protocol. Well, uh, uh, if we talk about the pin diagram of this mod, the pin diagram of DHT11 is uh, it is a basically four uh, pin sensor, but only three pins are used. First pin for positive uh, input signal, and second for the data. It means uh, the second pin is the pin that you are reading of, uh, in your microcontroller. The third pin is actually not connected anywhere. It means uh, the third pin is not used at all, and the fourth pin is for negative. It means it is a ground pin. Uh, this sensor can be uh, connected to uh, 3 to uh, 5 uh, volts it means you can either connect the positive pin to the 3.3 volt of the arduino or 5, uh, 5 volt it will work the same way so it doesn't make any difference only the third pin will be will not be used and uh, if uh, we want to talk about the specification it can measure from 20 to 90 rh percent humidity uh, with the plus minus 2 to 5 percent accuracy it means the uh, chances of being the reading wrong is uh, 5 percent it means it can uh, if the actual humidity is uh, 20 percent it may uh, display the value of 25 percent so it can range from uh, 20 to 90 percent humidity it can measure at this uh, range of humidity but uh, with the accuracy of plus minus five percent if we want to talk about the uh, temperature range specification it can measure from 0 to 50 degree centigrade uh, temperature but with the plus minus 2 degree centigrade accuracy it may it can be wrong plus or minus it can show plus two percent uh, um, plus two degree or minus two degree uh, uh, variation in the range and uh, on the operating voltage side it is three to five volt tolerant it means it can tolerate the voltage between three volt to up to 5.5 volts so it can tolerate these kind uh, ranges of voltages um, if you want, want to uh, interface this uh, DHT sensor with the microcontroller, all you have to do is to put, um, uh, add a pull-up resistor. If you can see here, uh, the 5K pull-up is used uh, between the uh, digital output pin of the mic, uh, DHT sensor and the microcontroller. Um, but uh, the uh, you can uh, use 10K or 4.7K. The 4.7K resistor is most widely used on pull up on this uh, sensor wire the data pin so if you are using some kind of shield uh, which comes with the variation of the um, um, uh, built-in uh, pull up resistor so you need to make sure that either you are using a raw sensor or you are using some shield which have built-in uh, pull up resistor for you so you can directly interface with the microcontroller it doesn't matter uh, you may need to add a library for this uh, uh, module if you are uh, concerned with the library all you have to do is go to your Arduino and uh, uh, in the sketch menu you uh, go from include library to manage libraries 
if you had downloaded it from the github the uh, zip file of your library you can add dot zip library from here all you have to do is add a zip library and the zipped file you had downloaded offline will be included in this arduino environment automatically but if you are not downloaded before the library all you have to do is to click on the manage libraries or you can use the shortcut key of control shift and i you will be directed into this screen you can type dht11 in the search console and you will be uh, seeing the other fruit library uh, from in uh, like this if you had previously installed it will show installed but if you have not previously installed all you have to do is to click uh, the a button of the install appearing at right corner right bottom corner of this uh, a cell and you when once you click it will automatically uh, updating or installing the library and once all done it will say finish and you uh, you click finish and you will get back and you can use the library in your Arduino environment that's all about how to add DST 11 library in Arduino so if you want to add the DST 11 library in Arduino you have to follow this these steps this library is also available on other fruit a github link uh, if finally about the code all you have to do is to include the dht.h header file and uh, create instantiate an object of dht11 with the pin that you are using for digital data and the type of the sensor either it is dht11 or dht uh, 22 uh, you need to mention that and uh, in the setup uh, I am using a serial console to log the data re uh, read it from the uh, DSC 11 sensor and uh, in the loop menu uh, in the setup all the final step you need to do is DST dot begin function once you click uh, once you call the DST begin function it will uh, uh, start the DST 11 sensor mean it will display uh, it will send some signal on the DHT 11 uh, pin, digital pin. And in your loop, uh, when, when you want to read the humidity and the temperature, all you have to do is uh, to call the method of the uh, read uh, humidity and read temperature. It will return accordingly humidity and temperature value. You can log these values whatever, wherever you want. These values are actually uh, could take 250 milliseconds and the values could be 2 seconds uh, um, uh, old it means that uh, the value could be uh, taken from back of uh, two second it means uh, the two second ratio uh, could be added in the your code uh, you can add a two second delay and you need to read values after two second the next value so uh, you cannot monitor the fast uh, values if the reading takes 250 milliseconds approximately and uh, you need to wait uh, two seconds before reading the next value and if you want to see the output it will show something like this and let's go back to the um, terminal and see everything in real action here's my code for the dht11 of i included the dht.h file header file and in, instantiated on pin 8 of the arduino and it, it, uh, start the serial port with the default 9600 baud rate and uh, prompted a string to the serial console dst 11 dot test uh, dst 11 test this uh, string will be sent to the con uh, serial terminal to display that uh, the serial port is properly working and f uh, finally i call the dst 11 as suggested in the example file of this library and when I call DST dot read humidity and DST dot read temperature values, and uh, I uh, prompted these values on the serial, and I uh, when I upload this code in my Arduino, uh, I am ready to uh, read the readings from the sensor, and uh, the readings will be displayed like this. If the readings uh, are not uh, correct or your uh, sensor is not placed properly or connected properly or you disconnected the sensor just like uh, right now I am doing uh, with my sensor it will display an AN it means not a number your sensor is not returning a number it just means that your connection with the micro uh, microcontroller of the DHT 11 sensor are not correct 
all you have to do is to check your wirings with the microcontroller and if you finally get back your original uh, wirings or the proper wiring of your sensor you will get your readings back and uh, <sighs> If you try to blow on the sensor you will see the variation in the readings so that's all for uh, today's uh, lecture about the DHT 11 interfacing with the microcontroller it can take us a few uh, minutes to or seconds to settle back on the original readings once you blow um, okay so that's all uh, take care and uh, don't forget to subscribe thank you